guys, it's Bite Size, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be introducing you guys to a new sim for my brand new Let's Play, 16 and Pregnant. I'm really excited to be bringing this series to my channel for you guys, but before we get further into it, I do want to make a quick disclaimer that in no way am I attempting to glorify teen pregnancy or offend anyone with that sort of content. I understand this is real life for so many people, and I would never want to make anybody uncomfortable. I just know other YouTubers that have done their own versions of this kind of thing, and I thought it would be really fun to put my own take on it. I really hope you all will enjoy it and that we can have fun with it together. I did decide that we're going to play out the series a little bit differently because we are not going to start off with Hannah already being pregnant. I thought it would be interesting to show you guys what her life was like leading up to the pregnancy and what her family dynamic was like beforehand and all that sort of thing. So this is Hannah Cardwell, and Hannah's going to be who we mainly focus on throughout the series. I had a lot of fun making her, so this is what the process looked like of me doing that. I kind of already had an idea in my head of what I wanted her to look like, so it didn't take me as long as the process would typically take, and she ended up coming out exactly like I pictured her, so I was super happy about that. But I figured we could dive into her backstory a little bit, and that way you all can get to know her and have a better idea for what I had in mind with the story and all of that. Hannah recently turned 16, and she just had her birthday over this past summer. She's an only child, and she lives with her mom, Emily, and her dad, Mark. Emily is a journalist at Walrus Books, and Mark is an engineer at Obscure Logistics. I won't be showing you guys me making the rest of the family in this video. I did want to wait and fully introduce them in the first episode, but what I did is I started off with Hannah first, and then I just created her parents based off of randomizing her genetics. They are a big part of the storyline though, so you'll definitely meet them very soon. Hannah's family isn't wealthy by any means. I picture them as being more middle class, but they're a happy and incredibly sweet family. Hannah's always been close with both of her parents, and when she was younger, she spent a lot of time out fishing with her dad, and her mom enjoyed taking her to different parks and all that kind of thing. They also did family movie nights every Friday night, and occasionally they'd go on family picnics when the weather was nice. Every Sunday, they would go over to Emily's parents for lunch, so Hannah spent a lot of time with her grandparents too, and she would stay over there at their house quite a bit. The Cardwells also have a beautiful dog named Baxter, who is Hannah's best friend in the entire world, and he is a Boxer-Rottweiler mix. Hannah's a big dog lover, so she and Baxter spend lots of time together, and she enjoys taking him out for runs with her or playing with him at the dog park and stuff. She loves him so much, and because of Baxter, she actually wants to become a veterinarian. She really wants to move to Brindleton Bay and open up her own vet clinic eventually, so that's like a huge long-term goal of hers that she has. She's also extremely social and really enjoys going out and partying with her friends, but she's still very career-driven and she's been that way the majority of her life. She does well in school and she's always gotten really good grades because that's something her parents always made sure they instilled in her and she's always been active in different after-school after activities. Hannah grew up in Willow Creek, and that's where her grandparents currently still live, but over the summer, her dad ended up getting a promotion at work, and one of the conditions with him taking the new promotion was that it wasn't local, so they ended up having to relocate, and about a month ago, they moved to Copperdale. This was the first time in her life that Hannah had ever had to move, so she's understandably nervous to start at a new school, but she's excited for the fresh start. She was on the cheer team at her old school, so she plans on joining Copperdale High's cheer team and potentially even playing basketball. Since the school year hasn't started and her family moved at the beginning of summer, Hannah doesn't know many people in Copperdale yet. However, she did go uptown to Thrifty one day to try out their boba, and while she was there, she met a guy named Justin. She and Justin hit it off super quickly, and with Hannah being so new to town, they've hung out a few times over the summer. She's really begun to like Justin, and she definitely thinks he's kind of her type, so she's hopeful that she'll see a lot more of him once school starts, and she's kind of feeling a little bit better at the idea that she'll have a familiar face there on the first day for her. Justin is one that you'll also get to meet very soon, but he's sort of a wild card, and even though he's pretty popular at school, he has a bit of a reputation with the adults in town for getting into trouble and being kind of a player. 
His relationships have never ended well for one reason or another, and he tends to move on to the next girl pretty easily. He keeps a busy schedule because he's on the football team, and when he's not playing football, he's usually making music because he started up a small band and he's working on trying to get them noticed. Justin's grown up in Copperdale his whole life, so as you can imagine, making a name for himself in the music industry has been extremely difficult, and he really wants to leave Copperdale and move to Del Sol Valley to hopefully get a record deal. Of course, Hannah doesn't know about Justin's past, so time will tell if they're able to build a solid relationship or if the cycle will just repeat itself and leave Hannah blindsided and heartbroken. All that, and she just might end up pregnant. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I can't wait to bring this series to the channel, and I hope you all tune in and are as excited about it as I am. I hope you guys like Hannah and her story. We'll see how things progress and what different sort of stuff might come up, but I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all very soon in the next video for the first episode of 16 and Pregnant. Bye, guys!